Hey, welcome to Hard Science, the show where we use just a little bit of knowledge about the world to bend it to our whim. I'm Anthony. I'm Tara. And you know, there are a lot of things in the world that aren't dangerous, Tara. And you know what the problem with them is? They're not dangerous. They're not dangerous, Tara. Today we're gonna take something completely harmless and make it incredibly destructive. In the name of science. I'm not even gonna hide behind science anymore. I just wanna mess shit up today. Today we're gonna to be building a ping pong ball cannon and the reason we're using ping pong balls for this is because they have a very high amount of air resistance for their weight. Give me 12 ping pong balls. You can have two, Anthony. I'm not in the mood to negotiate. Now you can see why the air resistance thing would be a problem if you've ever tried to throw a ping pong ball. Not terribly impressive. But if we could remove air resistance entirely, we would solve our problem. Do you just always carry around ping pong balls in your pocket? Now if we manage to evacuate all of the air out of that pipe while the ping pong balls are inside, then theoretically we can eliminate eliminate all air resistance, so when we finally do reintroduce some, the ping pong ball will exit. Not looking. Not looking. Okay, so what we did was we just drilled a hole into the pipe. We're gonna put this valve in, and the valve is what the vacuum pump is gonna be connected to. Look, I'm juggling. That's a great first effort. You're halfway there. <laughs> We're also gonna put some sealant around the valve so this yeah. becomes airtight. My hands have been training my whole life for this moment. Oh yeah? Would you like to tell us how? We just wanna go all around the edge there. Now, we seal off the ends. This might seem like an incredibly difficult experiment, but it's actually one of the simplest ones we've done because all you need is a few simple household materials. A vacuum pump, a PVC pipe, couple sheets of mylar to seal the ends, couple valves, and of course, ping pong balls. Okay, so the epoxy actually takes a little bit of time to set, so we have a cannon that has already been assembled. Next step is our mylar. This is what's gonna seal off the end of it. We wanna make sure that it's very taut and that there are no creases over this, and we can put this valve on to sort of seal it. So our ping pong ball sits in the back of the tube. There's no air in the tube, so there's no air resistance anymore. We pop the seal at the back of the tube. Air rushes in at the speed of sound, and if our tube is long enough, hopefully the ping pong ball exits at the speed of sound as well. All right, now all that's left is to shoot stuff. Woo! Okay, so we're all set. So I'm gonna pump all the air out of this thing and then you can puncture it. I can stab my favorite it's, part of any science experiment. It's everything you've ever wanted. Oh, you can see it going in. All right. One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> That's really loud when you do it from right next to it. and it kind of went through the center of it. Look at that, that's all ping pong ball bits. Pirates off the port bow. That was your pirate joke? <laughs> Let's just shoot the ship. Five, four, three, two. That wasn't really much better. Oh wow, nothing, it broke like one sail. All right, last all right. one. I stole this pig from my grandma's house. Aw, that's It's really been scaring me since I was four years old. I feel that, let's destroy it. Three, two, one. Oh! Yowza! Longer Teach you bliss. to give me nightmares? You have some pig in your hair. That's not kosher. Now I can't think of a single practical application for this. But that doesn't make it bad. No, not at all. No, that maybe makes it more worthwhile in a lot of ways. <laughs> if there's something that you would like to see us try, anything crazy like this, or, or maybe something a little more practical, something you've always wanted to know about the world, we're happy to try that for you. Just let us know on Twitter. We're at Hard Science Show. Yes, and make sure you subscribe here for more videos. And hey, you know what? If you have a lot of these lying around your house, then chances are you probably use them for beer pong. And if you like beer, go check out another great test tube show, BrewAge. That is at youtube.com slash TV. Where'd it go? I, did anyone? Magic. <laughs>